Hi you guys, it's Marissa. Um, today I want to share with you some items that I received from BB Craft. I will put the links to the four items that I chose to um, test out and review um, as, as well as you know their social media and website and everything. Um, I don't know the prices off the top of my head and what I'm going to do is I haven't really used, this is kind of my first impressions when I first got them, and I will do a few projects. Um, probably will be up next week, um, just to be honest. Um, but these are, I wanted to share my first impressions because sometimes, um, you know, on the internet, things can look much different than when you get them in person. So I have this here because one of the items I need to show you like on a background like that. So one of the things that I picked was a 10 pack of stencils and I thought it was a really um, good deal and the designs online looked um, like things that I would use. And these are six by six. And they are not bad quality. They're, I'd say, as close to like crafters um, workshop. So I will just go through real quick and show you which ones come in this set that I had picked. Um, and I chose it because of a lot. I don't have, um, I really, really like this one. I think I have something similar um, in another brand. But since I've kind of been wanting to start my you know, doing stenciling again like I used to, I thought that this would be something good to pick. This was received quite a while ago and um, I've just gotten around now to do this and I just, whenever I mean to, something comes up. But um, again, I, I'm curious when I do do a project with these to see how the paint or, or you know, ink or anything, uh, texture paste, gesso will hold up under all of these little intricate pieces because there are some stencils that have like kind of bled through, you know, for me and I will probably use different types of, you know, tools to see, but really, um, really pretty designs. Some are kind of similar, but they're different in a way, you know, and so I would use them in mixed media and art journaling, but you could definitely use them as a background in scrapbooking or cards. Um, so that was one thing that I had picked. I also picked this four pack of um, fabric tape and it came in this little bag. So I'm going to pull them out and I love this kind of stuff. I own fabric tape. And a lot of the times they are not sticky, you know, so we're actually going to try, oh my goodness, if I can get them out, um, on with you guys. So these are the, these are the, um, colors. So a baby pink, there's, um, some cream and here's a brown checkered and you get a decent amount on there, um, you know, for each, each of those. So let's try this one right here. So we're going to cut. Oh, it's already starting to kind of, that might've just been me. Uh, let's see there, it looks like there's a coating. Sorry, I guess I should have been more professional and more, um, <laughs> oh gosh, was I gonna say more prepared, but I didn't know that there was a covering on it, but I'm just curious to see how um, sticky these are. And I chose these, obviously I love that. Um, you know, vintage look, and I just thought that they would be fun to work with. So here's this, we'll cut a little bit off. Is that, no, yeah, this is just a shiny. Otherwise it's just, you know, like fabric. Gosh, I really feel like it's super duper dark. So here it is. Oh, that's, that's pretty sticky. We're gonna put it on the back of this and see. So again, I, it's not shiny like that. It just has the coating still on it. But actually that sticks really well. You could always add, you know, an extra layer of like glue or anything, you know, something like that. But I thought these would be fun. Again, I use them in my journals. I will sometimes just cut little, little pieces to hold down, layer mostly, but hold down um, pictures or make like little flags out of them. Um, yeah, so I was really impressed with these and the quality of them. 
Um, another thing I got, let's see, I don't know how many pieces. I want to say like 50 or 100, but it just says a set. I'll have to, again, I will post it. Um, it is, there was all kinds of different ones, but this is their, I call it sticker paper. It's eight and a half by 11, I think, or eight by 10. Um, you know, your basic, you know, sticker paper. I have one, some from, um, silhouette I have ones from Avery and what I like to do with these is not only print my printables on them which you know like something like these you know that I would print from um off you know online or whatever I have in my stash I print on that I haven't tried I'm going to try printing on these but what I really like to do and what I had initially bought these for was to make my own um you know, like die cuts or something to use in my art journal. So for instance, like last night I was working on um, just some Dilutions tags and I just watercolored and, you know, made these and just cut them out. I like to put those in my backgrounds. Well, you have to be careful sometimes with these types of papers and if it'll hold up water. I did a trial run um, but I actually want to print and see if they're better that way. So this looks really ugly, but I'll show you what. I wanted to try watercolor. I wanted to try stamping, and I wanted to try acrylic paint. And so what I used was just some cheap, you know, CraftSmart. Um, I think I used this Jane Davenport watercolor, and I used Versafine. And I also just grabbed two background stamps. Um, so what I found, this does peel pretty easily from the corner. <laughs> it's sometimes kind of hard to peel from a shape. It t It's sticky to me, but I don't know how it will work with, um, with something that's wet. I do like the way that this looks. It does get a little warpy. And if you don't put enough, you know, it's kind of like that satch. This isn't fully dry, but it's kind of like that saturated, you know, it's like it really soaked up the watercolor. You could see the fibers um, in the paper. So I'm not sure if I watercolor, maybe I just have to use different. I have all kinds of watercolors, um, but I did, you know, like, so here's one I punched out. This punched out easily. This is just with nothing on it. Um, again, it just, and I think it has nothing to do with them, but it, it takes a while to pick this off. Um, Here's uh, the one with the acrylic and the stamps. I just wanted to see if I could punch through this acrylic, and I could. Um, so maybe it's a little easier when you have something on it. Yeah, I'm just, I don't have nails. I think I have nails, but I don't. So I would probably have to use, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'd probably have to use like, oh my goodness. Let me use these tweezers so we can see what it looks like. I'll do a better in-depth review, but I just kind of, in case you wanted to peek over there and, and look. So yeah, you can see through it, but that's not a big, you know, it's not a big deal. So let's see. These actually do stick really well. No, these, these are down. So um, that's like what I would use it for. Um, here's another one. I just cut out, you know, like a little shape. I did learn though, if you don't let it dry, which I didn't enough, it will jam up your uh, punch and rip. <laughs> so yeah, this must have been just a little too wet. But again, you know, it's it, it held up as far as the um, acrylic goes. So I, again, I will list everything. I can't remember the price off the top of my head, but I remember thinking that's a really good deal for that many sticker sheets. Um, you know, it's, it's, I, We'll be honest, I don't, I don't think it's the greatest quality, but it's not the worst quality that I've ever had. So this will be fun to do all kinds of things in, but I really would like to see how it holds ink, and I just have a normal inkjet. The last <laughs> the last one I had to laugh at, um, I was most excited about this one, and it was for like 100 rolls of washi tape. And um, when I first got it, it... it came in this it's a um like a little you know piggy bank kind of thing so you can kind of understand where i would start laughing because maybe i didn't read it well enough um and the designs that were shown 
on the site was what drew me to it. Um, and I'll show you the designs. So when I saw those designs, I believe those were the only ones that were shown and it, they were kind of stacked up. So they looked like I thought they were normal washi tapes. Um, this is what I got. <laughs> and um, you can laugh with me, but I had Mila put doubles of stuff in one kitty kind of ones and I say it's kitty because um, these are like little bears and animals they honestly look like you know they're just like maybe little kawaii characters um, and it's not washi it is actually that shiny masking tape so I am a little disappointed in this and um, I would not uh, suggest this one it would be good for like birthday parties maybe party favors for little kids but um, I don't really have any plan how to use these so it's like that shiny plastic masking tape um these were the designs that i had saw online and which made me think that they were like normal washi tapes um they were labeled washi tapes i don't know if they're still labeled washi tapes you know i'll <clears throat> i'll look for you um or i'll look when i post it but you know this is what I had saw and they looked much more like grown up, so to speak, like sophisticated, not so, you know what I mean? Just not, um, so like, here's like, there's three of this one, you know, and, um, maybe this isn't, I had Mila put in the ones. Yeah. So like, these are the ones that I saw and these are the ones that again, made me want to, um, order from it. So yeah. So there are a hundred, I have no doubt. I haven't counted them, but you know, these are really, really, again, they're just, they're like little masking tapes and I just don't have any use for these. I let Mila look at them and she, she didn't think she would use them either, but yeah, I might pass them on to my nieces or something. So that's the only, I wouldn't recommend if you wanted washi tapes. Again, I might've read it wrong, but I know it said washi tapes. Um, you know, I didn't see any of these little characters on it or else I probably wouldn't have got it. Um, but it did come in this, you know, it, it was cute. It was cute. I just cracked up when I opened it. So, um, yeah, so I, again, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it if, if you wanted like that washi tape feel, you know, you guys know what I mean? Like this, oh, this is Halloween. So it's just, you know, on cam or on online, things just look a lot different. And it just shows that you need to read descriptions. I don't know if the description was on there, but this is the fourth thing. So I will probably do a project with the paper um, or if you want to request to see, you know, but I was going to do the stencils and um, this sticker paper just to see how well it held up because this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm happy with these. These are fabric tapes. I will definitely use these. So yeah, that is my first impressions review of BB Craft. I think that they offered so many fun things. There, it was kind of hard to pick because, you know, I wanted to pick something that I knew I would use, but maybe something I had had never like really bought online or never, you know, in which the stencils was kind of a risk and, you know, and so was um, the sticker paper. So I wanted to get something I would use, but also something that, you know, maybe I'd never bought online before and wanted to try another a new company. So um, I appreciate BB Craft reaching out to me and I will definitely post those two projects, what I do with the stencils. Maybe we'll even stencil on the sticker paper, but yeah, I will leave the link down to the store. They have great prices, lots of stuff for parties, um, lots of DIY stuff, and I will definitely list the four items that I chose. So thank you so much for watching and look out probably, like I said, next week, I will have the projects out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.